Can we talk about the one shot? And, and how did you do that? How do you break it up or, or don't you? So shooting those who walk away in one take or one, sh one continuous shot was quite a challenge. And we really even made it harder on ourselves because we were like, well, we also want to shoot during golden hour. Uh, so that meant that each day we were shooting our one shot, uh, we only had one or two goes at it. And then the sun would be too low or too high and we couldn't match it. And so that was, that was really it. So it put a lot of pressure and a lot of stakes on, on each day that we filmed. Um, overall, when you watch the film, it, it reads as one continuous shot. Um, there's really only a handful of cuts. Uh, far less than I think people would 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 guess, and um, uh, and there's even some you know that people I might presume were shot were cuts, but actually aren't. Um, but largely, we, we did that to uh, yeah to sort of break up the days and to you know allow for uh, more precision on um, on blocking and camera movements. Uh, but if we needed to. Um, we could have shot the entire thing in, in one unbroken cut. Uh, we just felt like there would be another way to kind of have more precision and more sort of hands-on uh, expression of the film um, if we broke it up into more or less kind of 15-minute shots. When you compare it to other you know, famous, um, famous one-shots, those are around three or four minutes long. And we were you know, tripling that, you know, sometimes four times. And so it was really quite a, quite an obstacle, quite a, a daunting undertaking. And um, I really, you know, feel like all filmmakers at some point in their career should make a, a one-shot film. I really feel like it's a, an amazing subgenre that um, lends so much to engaging in storytelling in a very unique and different way. How many production days did it take to get all of the shots that you needed? So we had about a month of rehearsal and then a fair amount of uh, rehearsal on Zoom, and then some rehearsal on location. And then in total, it was about um, uh, six or seven production days itself. Um, and basically the format would be, we would rehearse uh, all morning, and then we would just sort of wait and see when the sun was in the right position, and then everybody would be on, and we would just try and get as many takes in as possible. Uh, until the sun went down. Um, but I was also very conscious of like, if things are bad in the beginning, I had to say cut very early on or else we wouldn't get a chance to do a whole other take. Um, so it was, it was, it was precarious, but um, I mean, Boo Boo Stewart and Scarlett Sperduto and Bryce and John Steele and Grant Morningstar are actors. I mean, just phenomenal and so dependable and really brought their, brought everything, you know, to these roles. And, and so we, we never had an issue every single day. We, 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 you know, we nailed it. So if, the, if maybe one line of dialogue was off or something was off, you, you stopped it right away just because it was so limited for the time you had? So anytime there was dialogue issues, we would just roll with it. Um, there, were, there never really were. Uh, you know, there was, there was definitely space for the actors to improv and, and do all of that. The main things would be, for example, uh, the cameraman can't get in the door quick enough and kind of hits it and the camera bumps, right? Or uh, there's a car passing and then there's a noise problem. I mean, even those subtle things, like we would have, okay, cut. Or, you know, at the beginning of the film, we basically pass off the shot between like five or six different um, extras and then cars and then the person on a bicycle. And if any of those wasn't to my liking, wasn't as precise as I wanted it, then we would cut and take it back. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it was never the actors. It was it was always, you know, just the the difficulty of trying to pull off all these things in one spot, um, in in one in one take. And then for the interior shots, did that actually go much smoother? You're not dealing with natural light. The interior shots were just as challenging and it was, you know, working with a kid actor, he has to be wrapped by a certain time. So we really only had, again, you know, one or two goes at it per day. And on top of that, it was such a small um, environment to film in. And we had to be so conscious of not having shadows. So, 
you know, the camera person moving 360 degrees around the actor, um, you know, in fight scenes and, you know, falling on the ground, falling downstairs. I mean, it's so much involved um, that it, it was just as just as challenging as, you know, handing a camera off, you know, between three operators as it moves into a car and then drives for 20 minutes. It was um, the, the house was the house was was, was quite challenging, but but um, yeah, the, the team was was right there to, to pull it off. And the exterior of the house was the same house you were shooting in, or no different? Same. Everything was everything was exactly as as it appears. There were there were really no you know kind of magic tricks, no sets built. Um, you walk into the house as as we 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 put it all together, and um, uh, Sonia Faltar is our, our production designer. Just did an exquisite job with it, and yeah. we largely you know leaned on kind of German expressionism and um, and ways that. Sort of reality distorts within, uh, you know, the real world, and and yeah, we we, we turn that house into so many different different uh, uh, sort of mindsets of what it is to experience um, uh, an interaction with with the, the villain rock creep, um, and that was really a testament to to Sonia's vision and 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 hard work. Why did you make the decision to do just one shot? The decision to do a one shot is because I really believe it's a subgenre. I um I think every director, you know, in their canon of work should have a one shot. And uh and it just hit me as such a a daunting challenge that asking if it was possible on top of adding these, you know, insane uh story elements and also adding COVID onto it. Um that it really fired me up to think. Okay, well, let's see. Let's let's put together, you know, the best people that I've worked with, and and let's go out there and, and see. But there was a there was a huge likelihood that we wouldn't be able to pull it off. And um, uh, it was actually after the first day, uh, most of the cast and crew came to me and they were like, "We saw how confident you were, but we didn't think any of this was possible." Like we're all here, but we didn't think this was possible, <laughs> which is also such a you know nice gesture for all of them to like put their trust in me and um, uh, and but yeah, it was funny to hear it. I was like, I always I always saw this as you know as very doable, but there was a lot on the line. Um, even with uh, with the investors, you know, I had to sign that if there was a COVID outbreak and there were financial over overages, that I personally would you know find a way to to pay those. Um, so it was a, it was quite a quite a gamble in a lot of different ways, but um, yeah, again, just having a phenomenal team around me, I really really believe in everybody and our ability to get it done, and and that's the film.